afternoon and welcome to Rugby 8.5.2. I'm your host, Jed Thine, and you've joined us for the Game 1, Game of the Week, here in Round 2 of the 2020-21 Saxo Markets Premiership for me in Hong Kong is fizzing at the moment, this 10-round sprint of the championship. We're looking at the second week about to dissolve right before our very eyes this afternoon. And I can tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, people are looking for points and none more so than their first two teams. Game of the week is going to be pretty tight and these guys are going to hook in and go for it. Let's check out the teams. Really good quality control Hong Kong Scottish. Very, very good play by Kowloon there. A couple of really good, strong carries. My name is Peter Jurisovic. I am the attack, strength and conditioning and backs coach with Hong Kong Scottish. The positive uh, from obviously round one is uh, we're playing rugby again, so we're privileged to be in that position. Yeah, really pleased with how the debutants got on on Saturday to see them all take the pitch. And a really positive for Sal, who uh, scored his first league try on his debut. With Kowloon, uh, they'll obviously be you know, really disappointed to lose out Nali to Valley at the weekend. So they'll be looking to come back and you know, right some wrongs that they, that they had at the weekend. After a positive session tonight, we're going to build on that, bring it to Thursday night, and you know, we're ready to go for Saturday. I'm Jamie Sang, and I play for Kowloon. What we learned from the Valley game last week is if we stick to process, we can be quite a dangerous team in attack. I think that showed from Jack Neville's try. So the main takeaway we're trying to get from last week's game, moving into Scottish, is just to stick to our process throughout and not get bored with the little details. David Tom's a really positive. Obviously, Harry got man of the match, so that shows the impact that he had. Tom Konku gave a good account of himself throughout the game, and then it was good to see Charlie Higgs and Smith back out on the pitch after a long term of injury. And what we're expecting from Hong Kong Scottish is probably quite similar to what we're expecting from ourselves. A team that are looking to bounce back after a disappointing result last week. We've identified that they've got dangerous players, both in their forwards and their backs. So we're just trying to notify them and look after our own game in terms of getting the result. There you have it. Two teams with the point to prove and two teams that can prove the point. Scottish want the points. Cowling need the points. I expect there to be some real sparks flying by the end of this 80 minutes. Time now to cross live to Kings Park where we join our Game of the Week crew and making the debut, Sam Fiosi, along with Rory Drummond. Let's get down to the rugby. Yes, thank you, Jed, and good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the second round of the Saxo Markets Men's Premiership game between Bloomberg, Hong Kong Scottish, and DAC Kowloon. So both teams coming into this game looking for their first win of the season after coming off uh, two losses from last week. I'm joined in the box by Rory, uh, who played last week. Rory, what are your thoughts to this game? Yeah, it's going to be an exciting one. Thanks for having me, firstly. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. I think last week was a typical first game of the season, a lot of mistakes um, by both teams with and without the ball, so it'll be interesting to see how both teams bounce back today. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it was a tough week um, last week for both teams. I think it was quite close, actually. Uh, Seven-point loss between both teams, Valley, um, Valley, and, Valley and Kowloon and Sandy Bay with Scottish. But it was also really interesting to see last week a lot of the new faces in town. Um, any new faces to expect from Scottish today? Yeah, definitely. I think we had uh, we had Sal on the wing last week. He scored on his debut. He's unfortunately injured today, so he's been replaced. But um, I think one of the key battles today will be at, at 12. Um, Dean Squires come over from London Scottish in exchange um, for Jack Parfit. Um, and he's going to be up against Lewis Warner today. So I think that's quite a tasty matchup in the midfield. OK, that's good. And also, I've noticed Hong Kong Scottish, you've got a couple of new fresh faces in your management team with... Uh, yeah. Peter Jurisovic. <laughs> PJ, yeah. Peter Jurisovic. Um, so Peter arrived last year. Um, still wants to, to play as much as he can on the field, but uh, he's taken a, a kind of bigger role coaching wise this year. Um, and Dean Monaghan as well, stepping up as well. Been part of the women's setup here, the national grade for a long time, and uh, he's been a great addition in, in, into our defence. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure it's also good to have the experience of Enum and um, PJ, both from Scotland. Yeah, in definitely. With the Hong Kong Scottish lot. Uh, and do you know much about this Kowloon team? Any new faces to look for? Um, in terms of new faces, I think uh, Thomas Konku, I think uh, the prop that's come over, the English chap, he's played a pretty high level back home. Um, 
he went well last week and I think they'll be really targeting our front row as, a, as an area they can perhaps get dominance so I think it'll be a, be a good opportunity for him to kind of re-establish himself in, in this league yeah. yeah set pieces is something I guess your team are looking to improve into this game definitely definitely I think set piece like everything you know the first outing last week especially the line out is going to be a bit clunky um, so it'll be interesting to see how, how things improve today hopefully sure yeah. And you're not playing today, Rory, because I believe you're injured? Yeah, unfortunately. Um, I had a, a fairly decent run out last week, but then I yeah, pulled my groin on Tuesday. So out of action for hopefully two to three weeks, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk me through that, actually. I noticed there was a couple of injuries across both the men's and women's after the first round of the Premiership. Yeah. And, you know, we've had a tough build-up to the season with eight months, nine months of no rugby. Yeah. Um, do you think that's led to perhaps the amount of injuries we've seen after the first round? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we had a relatively short preseason as a team. However, individually, we had a very long preseason. So I think as Hong Kong Scottish, we came in physically very fit. I think what we lacked, obviously, because of the, the inability to train together was that conditioning for rugby. Um, so I think that that has definitely been an impact on the first day, the first collisions and all that kind of thing. Um, so physically, you know, lifting weights and running broncos and things I think on paper it's quite fit but it's that rugby conditioning I think quite a lot of players have lacked and that's probably led to some injuries in the first round yeah sure and were you guys able to have some pre-season games before the season we had one game uh, the week prior to um, pre-season game against uh, Tigers um, and that was it really so one run out which yes yeah, it's, it's not ideal you know. yeah no it's difficult build up into the yeah. season for for all teams so let's hopefully that injury rate would look to uh, would look to improve yep. hopefully today and the next coming weeks in the season um, so let's just talk about today's game what do we expect who do you think the outcome what do you think the outcome will be a scottish win hopefully <laughs> um <laughs> no it's going to be really interesting i think i think today if if we can get party up front then it's going to be a really exciting game of rugby um, both teams have got some exciting backs like I say that midfield battle um, 12 and 13 for both teams are strong um, I think there's going to be going to be some excitement there great yeah. and Rory you'll be picking the Kerry Hotel man of the match so keep a good eye on all the, on all the players <laughs> they'll be as impartial as possible I promise <laughs> as we um, field back onto the pitch here you see the Cowlin team have run on we're just waiting for Bloomberg Hong Kong Scottish of course, this week the government have eased the regulations in terms of spectators coming towards coming to the venues. So we've got a good number of spectators here. Yeah, you'll actually see um, Hong Kong Scottish have set up their, their marquee, the Red Lion, which is our pop-up pub. Um, so thanks to the restrictions being lifted, we're able to, to host some of our, our long-term life members there. So yeah, it's a, another positive to add to the occasion. Absolutely, that's a great initiative. Great to see the clubs taking initiative and you know, trying to... We've got to be creative, I think, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. build that culture. Talk to me about this bagpipes man. <laughs> a nice new addition. We actually had bagpipes last year at, uh, at Shetkip May at The Rock. Um, but the chap who played, he actually moved back to Scotland, funnily enough. But in the nick of time, we managed to find a, a new bagpiper, probably the only bagpiper in the whole of Hong Kong. So, yeah. Uh, but, great, uh, great, great to have him involved. Definitely, definitely. As Koopman gets us off to the start of the first play. Oh, it doesn't look good. Dean Squire looks like he's taken a knock there in the initial contact. He's holding his knee. That's not good for Scottish at all. Carlin looking to box here and get an exit from their 22. Phillips with the box kick up high. Great take by Sean Taylor there. Yeah, Scottish still down to 14 men. It doesn't look good for Dean at all, actually. He's looks in quite a bit of pain down there. And referee blows a penalty off their feet. Talk us through that injury there. What happened, Drummond? I'm not sure exactly what happened. I saw him coming through to chase the restart. Um, he fell kind of awkwardly and he's he's holding his right knee. It looks quite severe. Um, really bad news. I'm feeling for him. He looks in a lot of pain. It's not good. Yeah, very unfortunate. Ten seconds into the game. As we get to our first line-out with Neville kicking it out. 
giving Kowloon a line out on their own, 22. A yeah, good attacking platform here for Kowloon. Um, be interesting to see if we, we can test this line out or if we, we stay down and wait for the drive. Substitutes come on there. Chang with the throw. I believe Scottish are back on with the 15 man. Yeah, it's Cameron Smith coming on for his, uh, I think he made his debut last weekend, so his second outing for Hong Kong Scottish. Strong drive coming up here. Phillips getting the ball out to the right. Good low tackle there. Playing penalty advantage for something. Oh no, it's not. Hand down. There's Kowloon. Good hit. Build the phases. Phillips spots a bit of space, however, it's closed down by the Hong Kong Scottish. Great leg chop tattoos coming in. Yeah, Ian will be happy. This is good defence on our line here. Yeah, there was a penalty held back. Yeah, good intensity from the Kowloon team there, Rory. Yeah, very good. Very extra esque. Uh, getting around the corner, they had a good platform, good drive. I'm not sure why they actually brought the ball out of the, the mall there. It, was, it seemed like it was moving forward. Um, but they decided to and, and get their pick and go game going. Um, tips and they were making some good progress. But equally, the Scottish defence held pretty strong there on the line. So yeah, Ian will be pretty happy with, uh, with that outcome. Offside, yeah. yeah so Neville kicks that ball out for another line out. Do you reckon a drive coming on here? Yeah, I think it's uh, same again. So I'd imagine Scottish will stay down here and try and meet it head on. Chang with the throw to the middle. And once again, Kowloon set up the platform. Yeah, they've done well there, Scottish. Ball has come out fast as Philip tidies up. Oh, and we've got a big go ahead forward. Try there. Big Dave Markham, I think it is. Yep. Yeah, it was a good carry. It was a, a relatively soft uh, tackle there by um, by the Scottish player, unfortunately. And yeah, Dave Markham just crashing over the line. Good drive by him. Great start to how to Calhoun. I'm sure they'd be very pleased with that. Oh, it's been pulled back. Actually, correction there. No try. I think that was to do with the knock-on at the, the base of the mall when they set it up just off the line-out. Yes, good strong start to Kalu in there, but just couldn't come away with the points. As we have the first scrum of the game. So this will be interesting here. PJ with the feed, however, pressing on, pressure coming on from Kalu. Yeah, Josh hey. Dowson's done really well there to tie that ball up. Unfortunate, though. Could be in trouble here. Yes, I would say so. He's putting his hands early into the scrum, and what a call. Yeah, it's a difficult position as eight there. There's, uh, the options for you are pretty limited, so it's, yeah, it's pretty difficult. Yes, excellent push coming in there from the Kowloon front row, putting a lot of pressure on that scrum, giving Dowsing no other option but to infringe. However, illegally, and the ref has sent him off. 14 on 15 here. Yeah, it's a difficult start, four minutes in, and we're without our captain, and we've also lost our Dean, Swa uh, Dean Squire, so it's, yeah, going to have to withhold 10 minutes of, uh, of onslaught here. Yes, I'm sure Callum would be looking to keep that ball in the scrum. Yeah, I'd be surprised if this ball comes out. platform however referee sets the scrum Kowloon have brought in their 
a former Kowloon Hong prop, actually, Nacho, I believe, working with their front row. Specialist prop. Certainly has done good work with the Kowloon front row. As Phillips feeds that ball in, bit of pressure coming in from PJ. Ball comes out the same channel. Yeah, they're working hard to the Scottish pack. They need to. It's really important we don't give away any easy tries at this stage. So I think Sean Taylor is packing down at number eight just to add a little bit extra weight with Josh Dowsing being off. So every little helps at this stage. The guys worked really hard this week in the scrummaging. It was an area, obviously, that we know we're going to be targeted at. So getting the height set is really important at uh, that scrum time here. Yeah, the Scottish team are putting the pressure on. We have been at the scrum now for almost two minutes. Not making it easy for Kowloon. Once again, pulled down. It's Brad Tuff that's been penalised there. It's a difficult one. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of pressure coming through there. Scrum again. Scrum call again. Yeah, no surprise there. <laughs> that's right. Changi sees the strength with them. John, can we get the pressure piling on Scottish the here. The two props up. Bit of blood on the ears for both props. As Jamie offers his advice, <laughs> <laughs> knows exactly what he's trying to get, doesn't he? Uh, he's doing a good job there. <laughs> Yeah, see ref highlighting body height there. It's a difficult one. Brad's a, a relatively short prop, and the strength for him will be getting as low to the ground as possible and trying to get under his opponent, but he's just been penalised there for, for dropping in the last one. So hopefully we can see a bit of a correction in this next one. Of course, Scottish Good. playing with the man down. Time back on. Yeah, so if the ball does come out this scrum, there's going to be space out wide. As I say, Sean Taylor, fullback, is packing down at number eight, so there's going to be an advantage in numbers if the ball does come out this scrum and Kowloon decide to, to spread it wide. Crouch. Fine. Set. Hold it up. Hold it up. Tidier scrum set Much better scrum. Pick coming in there from Choi. And once again, great support coming in there from Whitfield as they get their first points of the game. Do you know what, we did, we did all the difficult bits <laughs> well there. The scrum, which uh, we knew we were going to get targeted, we actually had parity and it was really strong scrum by both teams, um, pretty equal. And then just coming around the side, we didn't fold and uh, yeah, the space was there just for a simple pick and go. Well executed, well finished by Kowloon for yeah, slow play. They had to be patient, but came away with the try. Good reward for all the pressure Kowloon have been putting on Hong Kong Scottish. Yeah, they've been in our 22 for probably about six minutes now. Um, so a certain inevitability about it. But um, yeah, look, next job, get to restart and put some pressure on the, on the kick. Jack Neville adds the two. Brings the scores 7 0 to DAC Kowloon against Bloomberg Hong Kong Scottish. As we took, took us through the replay here, Rory. Yeah, see, they've done a very good job in tying everyone into that scrum yes. even after it. So it, it's basically the, the back row from Scottish weren't able to fold round. You've got Sean Taylor playing number eight out of position, not quite used to that. Um, and it's just left a, a big gap for them to stroll through, really. Um, like I say, well executed. They did it very well. Um, but a bit soft uh, try to try to take there. Another high kick, same 
Same play into the corner. As Phillips looks to build a platform to get it out. A lot of pressure on this kick. Oh, finds Neville charged down, and as you said, the pressure coming on there from Hong Kong Scottish. That was brilliant work by Charlie Morgan and Kel Sullivan there, um, targeting the kicker and really getting some good pressure there, so strong outcome. Yes, predictable what Kel and we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> Options pretty limited in, the, in that area of the field, but um, that, was, it was, that was good play. Um, again, Ian will be happy with that, a bit of pressure coming through, and we'll get a chance to, to get some ball back here. Never will the drop kick out to the half. Sean Taylor palming off a couple of defenders there. Jerisovic to Bouquet. It's a good kick if it just gets over the back, which it has. Just unfortunately rolled a little Ooh. too far. 22. Pressure coming on there from Hong Kong Scottish. Neville has another opportunity for a clearing kick. Taken just on the half. Drezovic to McNeish. Just can't, can't get through there. Very deep there with the play, Scott. I'm not sure what they're trying to achieve there, and it's, it's put a bit of pressure on ourselves. Squire takes it in. Phillips sees a bit of space, however, he's on his own. Pressure coming in from the Scottish. Support arrives. Good work by Mike Green there. Um, two back to back tackles, a lot of pressure. Yeah, Ian will be pretty happy with that again. Relatively good, uh, good line speed by Hong Kong Scottish, forcing that error there. But again, just a little bit sloppy with ball in hand previous. Yeah, we've got a time off here with Phillips down. He is a key player for this Kellen side, isn't he, Bryn Phillips? Yeah, a brilliant player. He controls the game really well, brings tempo to their game. Yeah, he's, he's crucial to what they're trying to do. Doesn't look too serious, just uh, yeah, a bit of blood from the nose, I think. Of course, Scottish still with the man down in the bin. A couple of minutes left on Dassing's card, I'd suggest. Yeah, a couple left. You know... Uh, Considering your man down, we've conceded one try. Um, it's come from the scrum, which is directly impacted, obviously, by being a forward down. So that aside, it's uh, we've kind of we've got through the storm, I would say. Time back on. Forward pass by Red. Scrum down. Blue ball. Time back on with a prime scrum attack opportunity here for Hong Kong Scottish. Michael, Michael. So Michael Green's move to the, to the number 12 jersey with um, with Cam Smith coming in to, uh, to 13. It's so interesting to see what we what they run off here. Potentially as blindside. Pressure coming in and once again from the Cowan front row. However, Scottish retained possession. Done well to hold on to that there. Sees a bit of space. Oh. Not sure that was the right option there. I'm hoping there was advantage, but no, there wasn't. That was a, an interesting option there by PJ, yeah. Uh, Considering we've not had the ball for very long, I would like to, to have seen that kept in hand and build a few phases, get the players into the game. Yeah, I agree. There was a bit of space out to the left, wasn't there? Yeah. Opportunity to attack. But we're back in a similar territory here. Good opportunity for Scottish to attack again off this line out. 
It's coming in blue. As Barron gets that ball in. Good line speed here from the Cowling team. Lovely hands. Sees a bit of space. Just taken out wide. Not much territory gained by Scottish as Kowloon looked for a quick line out. Philip sees a bit of space. Oh, gets the ball out for an excellent kick. Really good kick there. Putting the pressure back on the Hong Kong Scottish team. Josh Dowson back onto the pitch, luckily for this, uh, this next defensive phase. He'll be looking to make an impact now and make up for that. Stay off the mark, on the middle. Hold up, on the middle, on the AR. My right foot! That's front. On this, on this. Yes, 15 on 15. Chang with the throw in the middle, and once again, a more set up by the Kowloon team. As they keep it tight. Come through, that's fine. Phillips wants the ball. Good carry there by Lewis Warner into hard traffic, but he's done well. Hands out. Another great carry there by Markham. As Calhoun have the advantage here. Second advantage they look to build blue. the phases once again. Great line coming in there from Jamie Tang. Inches from the try line. Oh, bit of untidy play out there. However, they had the advantage. We could be in trouble here again, you know. Yeah, there was very good patient build up there by Kowloon. Yes, yeah. yeah, so just, just just really simple yeah, rugby coming around the corner. Forwards folding, strong carries. Uh, Lewis Warner involved twice there, inside ball and carry himself. The defence by Scottish just a little bit soft on the inside, which, which allowed them to get over the advantage line there in the last play, and that's then just set us back and, and caused the error in the next phase. Yeah, great pressure there from the Calhoun team. They have a selection of options of penalties. They have called the scrum. It's an interesting choice right in front of the post. Easy three points, but you can understand why they've gone for the scrum. Very much so. Kowloon feeling very confident with their set piece. Second roll, Rose, just keep the pressure off and let's get stability up front. Copeman giving a bit of scrummaging advice. Uh, Brad Tuff, I think he, he was uh, emceeing at uh, an event last night. <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's forgotten he's on the rugby pitch now. He's, uh, he's carrying on, just needs a mic. Take our time. Options either side here, but Neville is parked up to the right of that scrum. Once again, strong scrum, referee calls use it. It has spun around, referee gives advantage. And was that a pick and go off the back of the scrum there? Drummond by the Kowloon number seven, Philip Whitfield. Yeah, strong carry there to get over the line, but comes down to that scrum again, which is uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, a long day for us if uh, we can't get that priority there. It's 17 minutes. Right call coming off for Kowloon when they call. Three 
match as the referee calls for a water break on the 20 minutes. Of course, it's very hot summer weather. You need the water breaks, don't you, Rory? Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think this is uh, the, the temperature here today, albeit probably the coldest day of the year, is still the, the hottest day that it'd be in Scotland. So um, I'm still in my shorts and flip flops having a great time. But uh, yeah, do you know what? First 20 minutes gone past and very much the tale of, uh, of penalties and mistakes and scrum. I think that's the three kind of main areas that, uh, that have decided the the first uh, the first 20 minutes really. yeah absolutely what do you think what do you think the Scottish forwards would be needing to do in the scrum area it is really difficult there's a lot of pressure coming through um, the guys have worked uh, really hard you've got Brad Tuff who's he's only been playing that position for a couple of years a hooker typically by trade um, Mikel Christiansen our young guy um, he's developing at a really good rate he's been in the under 20s program last year um, and he's coming on great guns but uh, Kowloon have got a really strong front row, really strong pack in general, and experience is just starting to tell here. Um, what can we do to solve it? It's, it's a difficult one. We have to work on that height. We've got a shorter front row, and we need to just make sure that we're, we're trying to get under them as much as possible. But it's a lot of pressure, and it's a, it's a big ask uh, for these guys to, to work against that, that kind of bigger pack. Yes, it'll be a long afternoon for the front row. As we begin the second half of this first half, DAC Kowloon leading Swinburg Hong Kong Scottish 14 to nil. Greg McNeish restart there. Good, good height in it. Great take from Neville. Rode the first challenge there by Cam Swift really well. Made a few yards. As Phillips looks to clear. And a deep kick. 22 to 22. It's a good kick there by Gregor McNeish nice up the middle. He'll be able to get under this, Sean Taylor. Pressure. Great high bong, however, well taken by Phillips. Brilliant by Brun again. Lovely offload there by Lewis. Seems Warner, a Chris Kinlock right. about space. Kick on the top, fielded well by Gregor. He's not connected very well with that. Another flying duck. Yeah, you can see what Kowloon are trying to do there, aren't they? They're just trying to get back into the Hong Kong Scottish half as soon as they can. Yeah, they want to play rugby in the right areas, and they've done that really well. The kicking game has been uh, has been really effective so far. Bryn especially been putting a lot of pressure in Jack Neville as well from the back some some good probing kicks into the Scottish 22. That's right, Calhoun not easing off with this pressure. On, off the blue. As Whitfield heavily involved in this play. That is not on the ball. He's on the man. It's got to be on the ball. Great hit there, double hit there by Josh Dowsing and Michael Green. Choi with the carry. That's a great turnover. That's Brad Tuff making up for uh, for the scummaging uh, errors earlier. Brilliant turnover. Great body position over the ball. Clear attempt to rip the ball and non-release. Yeah, great play there by Brad Tuff. Looking to spark something for this Hong Kong Scottish team. We're just on the edge of the 22 here. It's a really good platform. You see, might see Scottish drive this. I think it's important we hold on to the ball, get a bit of possession. Off the top into Josh Dyson. Drezovic gets it out. McNeish, long ball, sees a bit of space. Noodle takes it back in. As Callan looked to fold on defense. It's a good play by Scottish, doesn't need to hold on to the ball, build the phases. Starting to make some inroads. Very much so. I think it's the first opportunity of attack they have had yep, in this absolutely. 22. Let's see what they come away with. 
quick recycle of the ball. Support needed here. As Sullivan takes it in. Great carry there by Nardoni. Strong carry there by Harry Barn. Penalty advantage here. Again by Kel Sullivan. Jerzevich gets it out. Big hit by Chris Kinlock and Michael Green there. No advantage. No advantage gained. The Cowling player deemed offside. That's a really positive play by Scottish. It's the first time we've held onto the ball and we've and we made some really good inroads there. Forwards working hard, getting around the corner. Big carries, tip options. That's really encouraging. Very much so. Really good patient build up, wasn't yeah, it? Definitely. Dassing goes with the quick tap. Obviously looking for that seven. Oh, excellent line coming in there from Michael Green. Rory, you'll be happy with that one. Brilliant. Uh, really good work. Well deserved. The boys really worked hard there. That was a great line by Mike Green coming in there tight after Josh Dowsing tapping and go. That's right, I don't think the Calden team were expecting us to have and go there. No, I think when you get there in front of the post, it's either a, sc a scrum or a kick for the post normally. Um, we're trying to avoid the scrum as, uh, as, uh, as much as possible, so the, the quick tap is quite a good option. Yes, great captain's decision there. Gives Hong Kong Scottish their first try in this game. Yeah, really good play, really good play. Just shows what we can do when we hold on to the ball, so... McNeish with a tidy two. Brings Hong Kong Scottish within seven points. Yep. They really needed that try, didn't they, Rory? Yeah, really important. That's the first time we've been in there 22 with left yes. of points, so, you know, all things in, that's, uh, that's a pretty good result. Just need to secure this ball from the restart and start building phases again. John, I think there's a sub, is it? Yeah, excellent short ball there yeah. from Jurecevic. He just came in on the, the outside shoulder of the defender. He's probably just just out of line, eyesight. And Michael Green, a very solid player, had to stop from there. Yeah, big solid guy. He's powerful. It's going to take a couple of men to take him down at, uh, from that distance out. Just a bit of organisation with the substitutes as Neville gets us off. Kicked down into the 22. Well collected by Jack Morris there. Good strong carry there again. McNeish clears the line. Once again, Neville under the ball. Gets it out to Moonall. Burry, Tom Burry. Good line speed there from Hong Kong Scottish. Giving Neville no other option to kick, however the pressure's still on. Really good line speed by Scottish there, just cutting down the options for Kowloon. Forcing that kick, forcing the mistake. Really good line speed there by Charlie Morgan, getting off the line, put a lot of pressure on. Yes, excellent, unfortunate. Really good attacking defense there. Yeah, the referees have been instructed this year that it has to be clear daylight in that offside line. Um, I think the first week alone there was a, a significant amount of penalties given away for that and just seen another one there. So there has to be clear let's daylight let's between that back foot. Yes, these new law changes come in, in every season. It tends to catch a lot of the teams off. Yeah, definitely the first few games. This particularly has been, uh, it's been a big one, a lot of focus. Well, some training, but... When it comes to game time, you get a wee bit over eager. It's sometimes slightly more difficult. <laughs> no, gentlemen. Bit of confusion no, here with numbers in. on the pitch. Fifteen men, fourteen oh, men. So, he's, guys, you've chosen not to sub him. He's being strapped. So let's come in. Yeah, yeah. Five. Five man, five man. As the referee calls play to continue. 
Chang once again, throw to the middle, Philip gets it out early. Oh, big hit coming in there from Scottish. However, he gets through, loses control of the ball. That's a brilliant carry by Chris Kinlock there. Just unfortunate to force the offload. McNeish with a kick downtown. Neville weighs out his options, chooses to kick to the left. However, it is covered by the Hong Kong Scottish team. Excellent, Excellent by Kane. This could be on here. He's gonna here. have to go by himself pin his ears back. Phillips one on one. Great tackle there by Bryn Phillips. Small man on the giant. Excellent tackle there by Bryn Phillips. Certainly a try saving one. Yeah, that was a really great tackle there. Brilliant play by Kane. He's burst two tackles in the midfield. Bit of open space. Uh, he's got plenty of gas. He's taken on Bryn on the outside. But yeah, what a brilliant cover and tackle by the nine. Yeah, good 40 meter gain there by Kane Bouquet. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Time's off. He's just doing his boot. As the pressure switches back onto this Kowloon team as we look through this replay. Looks as though he almost has the pace. He's got the ball in the right hand, but he's he's not managed to quite get the fend off. But great cover and tackle. That's what you want from your nine. Absolutely. He's just tried to push the offload out to Pierre Monel. And just unfortunately, it's moved forward. Very much a try saving tackle there from Phillips. Yeah. That's exactly Body and head on the wrong side. Yeah. <laughs> However, a very effective. Very effective. He's already got a bit of blood coming from the head. I don't think that will help. Anything for his team. <laughs> it's really important by Scottish here not to give away an easy penalty. We need to work hard at this scrum. Crouch. And force them to exit. Copeman once again not too happy. Lots of talk in that scrum there, Rory. Yeah, he's doing whatever a good hooker does. Talks. Crouch. Find. Set. Steady. Once again, scrum's gone down. Number three collapsing. Collapsed there by the prop. Gives Kowloon an easy opportunity to clear their 22. Yeah, it's difficult. Every scrum's a mini, a, a mini battle, and we just have to which is the work from the the minute the ball goes in until the ball comes out and that's just been the, the issue for the last couple we're just taking our concentration off and it's allowed them to get easy penalty easy exit Chang with an overthrow could have been taken by the Scottish team and they have retained that turnover sees a bit of space that's a great ball by Gregor McNeish over the top to Mike Green Green with the quick release and on his feet, plays again. Just loses that ball in the contact. Be frustrated with that, wouldn't they, Rory? Yeah, really unfortunate. It was a great ball over the top by Gregor. He highlighted that there was a bit of space out there. Michael Green came on at pace, hit a good line, carried well, got tackled, released the ball, picked it back up, made some more yards. But just forced there in the in the ruck situation, we knock on. So unfortunate, but good play. Yeah, Green looking very dangerous every time he touches the ball. Yeah, he's been brilliant so far. We need to get the ball in his hands more. Agree. Once again. Next battle here. Just have to concentrate for the, the entirety of this. Crouch. Scottish shape looking to apply that pressure. Set. Steady. Holmes. Much better scrum. However, once again, another scrum penalty called by Copeman. It's tough, these scrum penalties. However, he has called. The prop has collapsed that more scrum. 
Yeah, it's difficult. It's, um, I feel like we're repeating ourselves quite a bit 30 minutes into the game, but it is going to be the story of the game unless we, we can find a solution to this problem. Uh, Jacko, watch it. Jacko, watch it. Kick kept in there by Sean Taylor. Plenty of space to run back. There's a bit of confusion here. The touch judge did have, did have his flag up. However, play continues. Nifty Some little kick the over the top. Sees a bit of space for Munal. Oh, brilliant kick there into space and a lovely little kick by Pierre as well just to keep the ball in play. Forcing Kowloon to bring the ball back. Yeah, good play there, Josh. Nice soft hands out the back to Gregor, who's spotted some space in behind. A lovely little nudge back in by Pierre there. Just keep the ball in play and force Kowloon to, to carry the ball over and touch the ball. Carried back. Good call there from the touch judge. Very close. Sure, <laughs> sure. Nine minutes before the end of this first half. Sure, Scottish will be looking for a try here or some sort of points. We just need to get the ball out here as quick as possible. Good quick, scrum. Quick ball. Out to the back to Dowsing, who goes for the pick and go. Jerezovic to the Baron. Big double hit there on Harry Baron. Just need to calm down now, work around the corner. Get into her pods. Pressure coming in here from Kowloon. Oh. But first and foremost, we need to secure the ball. Absolutely, I agree. He went and he was on his own there. The forwards fanned out in their pods. Yeah, I think they're almost too keen to, to get ready for the carry. They forgot about securing the ball in the first instance, unfortunately. Scottish would be frustrated with that. Neville with a clearing kick just inside their own half. Blue, here's the mark. About six, about six. Five-man line out here. I think expect the ball to come off the top and hit one of the Kowloon forwards in the midfield. Just stay out, stay out one, thank you. Yeah. Chang to mark him. Kowloon choosing to kick it down. However, it's out on the out on the full. I think that was about the first, the first bad thing that Bruin's done all game. Um, it was an interesting call to make the kick there. It was good position in the middle of the field, cut lines. Blues on the line. Perhaps an opportunity to have uh, had a bit of a rumble into the midfield and and then make a decision whether or not to kick. But opportunity here for Scottish to, to launch something. Just overthrown, but Mikel Christensen's picked that off well. Scottish keep it tight. Good strong carry by Kyle Sullivan. Pressure coming in here on Green, well read by the Kowloon team. Brilliant hands there by Mike Green to hold on to that. A couple of backball plays here as Sullivan takes it in. Yeah, some nice hands there. Sullivan's just made a couple of yards in the midfield. No space there. Green with the ball. Footwork coming in there from Muno, who has no other option but to cut back in. Crazy freak by the crazy frog. <laughs> kick over the top here. Neville with a clearing kick. I would have liked to have seen Scottish being a bit more patient there, Rory. Yeah, I, th I think we've said that a couple of times, haven't we? Is that when we hold on to the ball, we look oh, dangerous. An opportunity here. In saying that, that's a brilliant chip and regather by Sean Taylor. Space now at wide. Hello. 
Drezovic. Big tackles coming up. With a clearing like pass. Oh, good line speed there, putting pressure on. Does well. However, the line speed pressure coming in from Kowloon. Yeah, we're just a bit flat there. We kind of. Uh, into touch. A couple of poor passes that were just shoveled along the line, ultimately coming to the end. And, uh, Lost forward into touch. And the error. Scrum called. Great ball. Kowloon, of course, with the option of a scrammer line out. Just over three. Choosing to go with their weapon. Sure. After a uh, bit, he's made the kick. Yeah. Come through a bit late. Sure. On the, just be able to watch that. Yeah. I'll just keep an eye on after the kicks. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Kellen doing a very good job getting in the ears here, I have to say, of the ref. <laughs> just having a look at the possession stats as we come almost to the halfway line, and it's actually 50 50. So. It has shown that more clinical team, the opportunities that they've had, Kowloon have taken, resulting in them leading at this stage. Three minutes. We went to the penalty count earlier as well, and it's just creeped up. Scottish on eight now. 36 minutes played. As we said, key to keep that into single, single, figure, digi single figure digits. Carlin only conceded two penalties in the in the first half, which is a very well disciplined display by them. Scrum down, red ball. As we come to a, a scrum, three minutes. <laughs> left in this first half. Crouch. Bind. Once again, discussions at that scrum area. Let's get a decent gap. Forwards offering each other yeah, advice. When we go, down. go Bristow, back and row. Here we go, here we go, let's go. I need to switch on here. Let's go, Crouch. Crouch. Find. Set. Steady. Much better scrum there. Agree, excellent. But just need to keep working. Wielded. Much better scrum coming Reset. in there from the Scottish boys. Yeah, really good, and it shows that straight, when we do concentrate, we, we can get that parity. Um, that's a much better job there by the front row. We've been really good to to force the force the turn and uh, yeah, we need you guys to be shown before. I can't, I can't avoid it. Consistency of concentration needed in that set piece area. Yeah, definitely. I think we've seen it on a few occasions that on our on Scottish ball in the scrum, we've been able to get that party and win the ball. But it's just about doing it on both sides of the ball, with and without it. Frustrations both sides. I'll just speak to all, all three of you, the front. As we just can't quite crack the set piece. Okay, I know we're tired, but let's really work on the structure here. Let's get all four shoulders all four shoulders out. Alright? Let's show me that clearly and let's wait for the call before we go in and engage. Everyone agree? Let's have another go. Yeah, the ref being quite clear there in what he's looking for. Really square in the in the contact. No shoulders burying in on either side. Wait till the ball's in on the push, yep. Let's go then, Cox. Let's go, Crouch. As the clock runs down, a minute and a half left. Kowloon would be looking to something from the scrum. Tom Gatsby with a high carry. Oh, 
lost forward opportunity of attack here. Good, so there is one from. minute left in this half as the referee blows the end of this first half. That was a good defensive phase there. Um, came from a big hit by Kane Bukat in the centre and then a follow on secondly by Kel Sullivan forcing the, the error there. So, yeah, you'll be happy with that, that last defensive display. Actually, do you mind telling the captain first? Yes, yeah, absolutely agree, Rory. Good pressure coming in there from the Scottish boys. Not allowing Kowloon for a last opportunity to attack. As we are half time here of this game two. Round two of the Saxo Markets Men's Premiership. DAC Kowloon 14, Hong Kong Bloomberg Scottish 7. These scrums, Rory, seem to be the story of the game. Yeah, I think we've had six resets so far. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. It is, it's dictating the game at the minute. Um, not great for our viewers, I have to say. Um, but yeah, I think I sound like a broken record, but the importance is to, to concentrate both with and without the ball at scrum time. We seem to be doing you know, a good enough job when we've got the ball. Um, we're just maybe not concentrating for the entirety when we don't have it. So it's just really important that we work all the time when the ball's in there. As we go to a commercial. For the Saxo Markets Men's Premiership. Very shortly. And hi everyone, welcome to this halftime of the game one round two of the Saxo Markets Men's Premiership. Rory, tell us about this first half. Who do you think has stood out? Hong Kong Scottish, Kowloon? Yeah, it's been a <laughs> one for the purists, I think. Um, it's been a lot of mistakes, a lot of errors, um, especially at scrum time. I think what we've seen is that when a team holds the ball and they can, can maintain that that possession for any period of time and they're going to cause some damage um, the tries that have, that have been scored have come from holding on to the ball for a significant passage of play um, but just too many mistakes at this stage I think for, uh, for the game to get going yes that's right so you know early pressure coming in there from the Kowloon team pinned Hong Kong Scottish back in their own 22 for a lot of this first half you know giving Kowloon the opportunity to come away with two tries however it was really good to see Scottish as you said they just needed to be a bit patient. When they are patient and look to build the phases, they're able to capitalize on that and ending up scoring a try. Yeah. A key player for me in Hong Kong Scottish is this Michael Green character. It'd be great to see them using him more often. Definitely, I think the only way we can use him is by holding on to the ball. Um, you know, we've kicked a couple of balls away when I think we probably should have held on to it, get ourselves into the game. But like you say, the, the couple of touches that he's had, um, he's looked very dangerous scoring the try as well. Um, I think Kellen have done a great job in their kicking game and keeping that pressure on. You touched about it there. I think it was about six minutes in the first ten that we were in our own 22. Um, and that was to do with the kicking from um, from Jackie Neville at the back and from Bryn at nine for Kowloon, just keeping us there, keeping us in the 22 and building the pressure. And then they've come away with the points from there. That's right. Phillips and Neville really are key characters for this Kowloon team. I'm sure they'll feature prominently in this second half. Definitely, yeah. However, it's good to see you play continue it's good to see Hong Kong Scottish trying to be staying in this game you know I'm sure that scrum area is something Hammer would be talking about at half time yeah it will be I think that, like what's going on in the scrum is uh, is for the front row to know it's difficult for everyone else to do it the guys are working hard it's a big ask for that front row it's a young and experienced uh, front row that, that Scottish have out today they're working really hard um, and they're getting results at times. Um, like I say, it's just about that focus for the for the entirety. Um, I think the really encouraging thing is is that when we're getting the ball, we're looking to play. You've seen a couple of long balls over the top from Gregor McNeish out the back, looking to use the width. Um, and that's something that we, we look to develop in our game is having width and, and two layers in attack. And I think you're starting to see that now, a couple of balls over the top to Mike Green coming on that kind of flat line, yeah. um, which has really worked well. 
Also a couple of key forwards for you, Kane Bouquet, I think. He's played very well in this first half. Done brilliantly, yeah, really well. Um, it fielded a, a kick with a big return, about 40 metres, almost scored if it wasn't for, uh, for a really good cover and tackle by Bryn Phillips in the corner as well, yeah. Great. Excellent. As we begin the second half here, switch back to an advertisement. Back here in this second half, DAC Kowloon, 14 points ahead of Hong Kong Bloomberg, Scottish seven. As a mistake coming in there from the ever so reliable Jack Neville. Non-surprisingly, uh, Scottish have, have gone for the line out here as opposed to the, the scrum in the middle of the park. <laughs> really good platform here to launch something off. See a cut line, so only five men in the line out. Expecting a big carry in the middle here from Josh Dowsling, I'd say. Yes, bit of wind on that kick. Bit of a windy day up here at Kings Park, however. Good line out. Gregor's put it under. Big chase. High Mike bombs. Green with a great take there. Options here for the Scottish on the left. Oh, Not enough support. Frustrating. That was quick ball to the left. However, not enough support there from the Hong Kong Scottish team has led to a turnover. Yeah, at this point, a really good play up to then. Um, great option by Gregor. Like I say, the wind is starting to swirl about. Um, he's put it up high in the air, and it's a great take from Mike Green, just regaining possession and not on the 10 meter line. Out to the width, and then, yeah, unfortunately, just not the support there. Yes, Michael Green, good start for him in the second half. As Chang goes to the middle once again, Kowloon sets up that drive. Marching it forward. That's a really good drive there. Nice mall set up, good length to it. Excellent control here by Chang. 10 meters now that they've made for this. Done well to spin off the side there as well. Bit untidy. However, Neville ties these up with a show and go. Another show and go. Kinlock with the carry. As Philip gets it out to Cunningham. Charlie Morgan down in the back play here. Doesn't look good. It's not a good sign for Scottish either. Good line speed here from the Hong Kong Scottish team couple of meters lost as the penalty is awarded for Kowloon. Hong Kong Scottish still with a man down back in play. Bit of advice there from Sullivan. However, it's excellent set piece ball there coming in from Kowloon. It's good to see Charlie Morgan back to his feet and, and getting back to the troops. Hopefully somebody can run off. The Kowloon player down here on the 10 meter line. Yeah, a couple of players need some attention here. As you see a replay here, excellent line speed there coming in from Barron. Yeah, good solid hit by Kyle as well. That's exactly what we've been practicing. Howard Barron getting low chop around the ankles and then the second defender coming in and hitting a bit higher. So Ian again will be happy with that. I am sure Kowloon will be looking for a drive once again. 20 meters off the previous line out. Blue's got the line. 
I'm not sure my eyes are deceiving me or if that's Jamie Pincott warming up in the background. Break and play here. A couple of injuries. Both sides. Early into the second half. As the substitutes begin their warm up. Just hold, hold, hold. As we said earlier, great to see the gates open up, allowing the crowds to come down and watch. Yeah, it's brilliant to see the Scottish supporters out today and see all supporters in general. The red line's looking busy over there. Gatsby with the high take. Stop once. Bit of pressure coming in here from Dowsing at that mall. However, it has been joined by Burry. They've done a reasonable job there defending that. Excellent. Great. Good result there. He's come through Very much so. Excellent. More defense coming in there from Hong Kong Scottish. Leading to a collapse more. Giving them an opportunity to scrum. Scrum down, blue ball. First scrum up the half. First scrum of the second half here for Hong Kong Scottish. As you said earlier, Rory, it'd be great. You know, every time they come to the scrum area, if they switch on and concentrate. Yeah, it's just so important. It's our own ball here, so hopefully that's uh, that's enough of a, a motivator to, to switch on and to work for this entirety of the, of the setup. Set. <laughs> Same old story. Collapsed in the front row. I need you both to get the shoulders up, right? Show me again. Shoulders out, shoulders out. Crouch. Five. And once again, Hong Kong Scottish with the scrum and unfortunately early push there called by the referee. Some frustration in that front row. Number three blue's gone early. Yeah, understandably so. It's coming at an angle, I think. I think that's legs went before before he uh, before he, he bent over there, but gets another opportunity to make it right. Yeah, Callan certainly enjoying the set piece, recalling it again. Feed into the scrum here. Pressure are coming on there from the Hong Kong Scottish. Ball has come out the same channel. However, great pressure coming in there from Jurasovic. Yeah, he'd make a nonsense of himself. I thought he maybe got away with that there, but uh, the ref spotted it and brought it back. Must be close to double figures. Scrum resets now, if not already there. Crouch. <laughs> Have a look at the penalty count now, and just after the half-time mark, and Scottish up to 11 penalties conceded. Kowloon only two. 
And that's reflected in the score, I think. As Cowling keep that ball in the scrum once again, they have the advantage. So that's a really good example of scrum time where the scrum is moving back, but we're continuing to work and engage in the process and therefore not giving away the penalty. However, good pressure coming in there from Scottish, no advantage gained. Good line speed, good defensive block. I'm not sure what the penalty is for here. I believe it came Three collapsing. from the front row collapsing. Once again, options here. Choosing the corner. Kowloon choosing to kick it out. Very up the play here. Good line speed there from Sullivan. Ten minutes into this second the half, neither team mark. have so gone to their bench yet. Well, there's not been much play, has there, for, for ten minutes? <laughs> <laughs> the clock's about the only thing that's been running, I think, in oh, that uh, last period. Westy got the front and goal. Very stop start, very scrappy. Opportunity for Curling here, though. Good line out. Might have been set up well. Could be in trouble here. Excellent drive coming in there from Kowloon, however, referee penalises them. Separated from the Four. They separated. Infringement in the bind there. Yeah, I think joining ahead of the ball. They separated from from back and then they've come off and around. Bit of confusion there by the Cowlin forward pack. Relief they for Scott to Certainly though. in for a try there. Yeah, it looked like a certainty, didn't it? Good kick by Gregor, though. So they, they came off the back. Release some of that pressure yeah, near the halfway line. Yeah, I think it's Tom Burry just coming in from the side and joining, uh, joining ahead of uh, ahead of the ball there. Bax involved with the ball. <laughs> yeah, one outcome. Blue come in. Been a change at scrum half. Um, Peter Drusowitz off with Mark Coburn coming on. So Mark will bring a bit of pace to the game. Another good contestable kick. kick there by Gregor. Mike Green underneath it. Almost. Well taken by Neville. Yeah, a lot of pressure coming under Mike, and he did well there. As Philip looks to take control. Once again, Philip shapes up for a kick, looking for that territory. Well taken there by Moonall. Take him back. Coburg to McNeish. There's a player down here. Charlie Morgan again. I don't know if it's a recurring injury previously that hasn't been burned. As both teams look for that territory. Bit of tennis at the minute. That's a good kick by Gregor there. Fine touch. Very good, very good touch. Time With the outcome in favour for Hong Kong Scottish. Once again, another player down here, Rory. Yeah, worrying signs this time John for Charlie Morgan. Hopefully he's getting back up. See some claret coming through the head and the leg. He's going to have to get bandaged up before he's allowed to continue, I think. I think it's less. We've had a few stoppages, sorry. It's only 11 minutes gone. Yeah, it's too many stoppages. They sub, John? Jimmy Pincott looking to make his first appearance of the season. He comes on. I think that's initially a blood replacement. See that. Oh, good, thank you, Jamie. Turns into something longer term. A very trim Jimmy Pincott. Time back on. Who's in? Who's in? Who's out? 
It's a mistake, I think that's uh, Jake Barlow actually. Phillips with a high kick. Great take by Sean Taylor there. A lot of pressure coming through. Hands in front. Hands in front. Yeah, too eager there, Let's getting get over the ball, the Cowboy players. A very good take by Sean. Safe as houses right, and goes. What number? Number 10. Yes, both teams looking for the high bonds here as a yeah. tactical option. Yeah, we said that that wind is swirling a little bit. Um, but it kind of contradicts what we've seen is that when you hold on to the ball, the team that's been building that possession has tended to, to make some progress. So. Yes, it would be good to see the ball in play statistic. I don't think it would be that much, to be fair. As we see a replay of the Callan infringement. Player coming off their feet. Yeah. Barron to the front. Kobeck out. Green with a strong carry in the middle. Kobeck to Pincott's brother. Also a change up prop with uh, Kevin Badger coming on from Michael Chris Christensen. Let's see if that makes any difference come scrum, scrum time. Pick and go from Coburg, nifty little scrum half. Needs a bit of help. There's a player down here in the back for Kowloon. Philip Whitfield. As play continues. McNeish with the carry in. Coburg out to Nardoni. Scottish building the phases. Fast off the line there from Yeah, Cowling. very fast. Play continues. Coburg out to McNeish. Looks for options, gets it out to Moon on his right. Scottish have the penalty here. And with Cross the penalty field option, advantage. Mike Green up in the air. Good contestable kick, just didn't couldn't quite get it. Yeah, excellent patient build up there by the Hong Kong Scottish team, wasn't it? Yeah, it's good. Again, like we've said, hold on to the ball, building those phases, making ground. So, easy to spot when you're sitting here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, with all that pressure, they have been rewarded with a penalty and an opportunity. Yeah, I think we're taking the points here, right in front of the post, get ourselves back into this game. Been a bit of a nitty gritty start to the second half, hasn't it, Rory? Yeah, very much so. Um, still a lot of errors, a lot of kicking, a lot of penalties. So hopefully we get uh, a little bit more ball in hand in the last 30 minutes or so. Yeah, easy three for Gregor. Back within four points. Very much so. As the bagpipes sound in the background, Scottish still very much into this game. Yeah, very much. Any, anyone's game at the minute. Um, I think that's the two occasions that Scottish have been into Kelloon's 22, one in each half, and we've come away with points, so that's encouraging. But like I say, it's just about holding on to the ball for a little bit longer. Been a bit more clinical. Koberg with the take and the clearing kick. Can find some space down there. Really good kick there by Mark. Good defensive wall. Open, open. 
as the changes are made. Choi looks to take that ball in. Kowloon once again looking to build that platform to get a kick from. Phillips with a high box. Kane underneath it, a good take. Excellent pressure coming in there from Charlie Higson Smith as Coburg gets it out left. Scottish see an opportunity of attack here. Just can't quite free it up too green. McNeish organizes. Sullivan with the carry. Once again, looking for that territory. Neville, with a number of high takes today, gets it up himself. Another great take by Sean Taylor. Pressure coming in there from Kowloon, however, re Scottish retained the ball. Higson Smith with the take. Phillips with a kick. It's good to see Hong Kong Scottish keeping it in their hands here. Good half break there by Sean Taylor. He's been really solid today. Unfortunately for Hong Kong Scottish, the referee has awarded a penalty against them. Yeah, unfortunately, there was a good hard line. Um, but yeah, just not the support to secure the ball, resulting in a turnover. It's happened a couple times now, hasn't it? We've had possession, spread it wide, and there's just not been the support there to, to secure the ball, resulting in a turnover. Callum with another attacking opportunity on the, just under the Scottish 10. The kicking and the scrums have been the story of the game, haven't they, Rory? Yeah, definitely. It'd be interesting to see the kick count, but there's uh, there's certainly been uh, been more than a normal. I would just, I would suggest possession-wise, pretty 50-50. Open play kicks over 30, um, which is quite considerable, considering we're only at the 60-minute mark. Once again, Chang takes control at the back of this mall. Kowloon marching it forward. Yeah, another well-set mall there. They've done well to ride that. Phillips looks to release it out to Kimlock. Once again, back to Phillips. Yeah, really He's good on his own here, Burn however. There. Scrum half needed. Barker plays nine himself. Markham with the carry. Strong run here from James Cunningham. Attack here from the Cowlin team. Out to Alexander on the wing, who spins, has a go. Scottish needing to organize their defense here. Line speed coming off the line, however. Advantage played. Slightly offside. Yeah, that was a good tackle by Alessandro Nardoni there, but just offside. Too eager again. Phillips organizing here. Callan looking for that try. Good line speed coming in there from Hong Kong Scottish, Rory. Yeah, good line speed, but then it's just borderline to, to get that infringement against us. It's, like I say, it's that clear daylight that the refs have been instructed to look for be between the offside line, back foot. There's been yeah. a number of those now today as well. It's certainly hard when you're one metre from your try line. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult, yeah. As a lot of players down.
with Kowloon a penalty in hand, choosing to take a shot at goal. Yeah, it's right decision, I would say. About to be a water break. It's probably been the most uh, the most rugby played in the in the game so far. That passage, so the boys will be a little bit tired. Easy points, take them all in offer, and it cancels out Hong Kong Scottish's previous penalty. Restores the lead back to seven points. That's right, Scottish slowly creeping back into this game. They'd be frustrated with that penalty. Yeah, it's that the offside penalty is a it's a really it's a really difficult one to take, isn't it? Such a basic error, but Neville with the three extends that score out to 17-0 for DAC Kowloon against Bloomberg Hong Kong Scottish 10. As we come to a water break here of the second half. Of course, the water breaks introduced this season, early into the season, due to the lack of rugby opportunity people have had in the build-up. It's good for the players. I know they'll be, they'll be tired there. I think the last three phases of uh, ball and play were around two minutes, so that's, that's quite high. Um, so they'll be looking for a wee break now. In saying that, these breaks don't do anything for the continuity of the rugby. Um, in a game that's already pretty stop-start, it's uh, probably not helping anyone trying to get into the game with uh, with the extra added breaks. So very true, Rory. You know, it was a bit of a pedantic start to that second half. It was good to see towards the end of the first half, of the second half, that Hong Kong Scottish were starting to build up the phases. Calvin were looking to attack again. And then, as you said, we've come straight back to a halt. Look back here at the tries, see the first one, a man down in the scrum, full back in, the back's under pressure, weaker out wide and yeah, an easy pick and go for the middle. Second one here again from the scrum setup, dominance and then a strong pick and go. First try from Hong Kong Scottish. Really good play, quick tap there by Josh Dowson, captain. And then a lovely out to in line by Mike Green, crash over the line. Match that with the two penalties, and it's 10 17. McNeish with the kick into the 22. Phillips will clear here. Another high bomb. Well taken there by Taylor. Pressure coming on. Done well there to ride the first tackle. Again, really safe under the high ball. There's not many other people you'd want underneath it, I have to say, in the whole premiership. This guy as well, Bryn Phillips, certainly very reliable under that high ball. Yeah, he's had an exceptional game so far. Really Excellent play it. there. Lewis Warner, who's been looking dangerous all game with a slicing break. Stolen there by Hong Kong Scottish, however, regathered by Kowloon. As you said, Warner with that strong carry has brought his team up to within 20 metres of the Scottish try, uh, try line. Neville has a go. Yeah, nice show and go there, but it's turned Messy over. Ball turned over. Just get this onto the foot. Scottish That's a with good a kick, kick downtown. Well tidied up there. Lovely little nudge over. By Barker. Gregor McNeese done the same. Once again, kick for kick. Alexander under the ball. Nice Great. hands there. Quick set of hands there. Just got under that a little bit more. Unfortunate pressure coming on there from Hong Kong Scottish. However, Michael Green possibly worth the no arms hit on Jack Neville. Yeah. 
So you've got a, Chris, you've got option. The right Chris. call made there. Chris. Yeah, I think so. I think there yeah, wasn't option. 10. I think he just really he kind of rolled at the last second, which, which enabled the arm to get round to, to make that, uh, that attempt. Kowloon with a penalty choosing to go for the line out. Confident with their set piece, aren't they, Rory? Yeah, absolutely. And they've been looking to do that here, set up a mall again and really turn the screw. Just in the background, there's been another change on the wing. Um, the crazy frog, Pierre Monel, he's uh, left the field. Jack Cullen, longest legs in Hong Kong, um, is now on the park. Find a man with longer shins. I dare you. Alexander with the throw. Another more coming in there. Controlled by Alexander Harris. Certainly an experienced forward for the Kowloon team. Yeah, marshaled by Bryn Phillips at the back there as well. Taken down there. I think we're going to also be in trouble here. Two obviously by Kane Bouquet. Not much choice there, unfortunately. Um, and I'll come no surprise that uh, Carolina will go for a scrum here, I'd imagine. That's right, limited options there for the Hong Kong Scottish go. team. Points. Certainly a powerful ball points. from Kowloon. Interesting call there. The dominance they've had up front, then with a, a forward down, mm -hmm. and they've decided to take the points. So maybe a bit of respect to the Scottish pack, but um, yeah. Easy points when they're there. Yeah, I agree with Scottish back down to 14. And as you said, a man down in that forward pack. Yeah, strange call in uh, given, but uh, yeah, that all started again from Lewis Warner making that, um, that side and break through the middle. Jack and Elle falling up with another bit of good running out to the other side. Struck that well, 22. but just off the side. Well, Neville would be frustrated with that, 22. and I'm sure the coaching staff. Yeah, big let off by Scottish there. Absolutely. I can imagine the pack expected that to be a, a scrum and uh, and a pretty tough time. So to go, go from that to to missing the penalty attempt is uh, that's a big relief I can imagine for them. Just over 14 minutes. That will certainly be reviewed. God is still very much in this game. Yeah. One try in it. As Alexander sees a bit of space, pins his ears back, gets it down to the 22. Phillips with the quick ball to Barker. Good strong carry by Lewis again there. Lewis Warner in the midfield. Scottish unlucky not to get the turnover there, though, I think. Good intensity here from the Cowlin team. Substitute certainly making an impact. As the knock on there, gathered well by Brad Tuff. Really good work on the floor there to secure the ball. Dassing with the carry, he's lost it, however, it has gone back. Opportunity to exit here for Scottish. Deep kick by Gregor McNeish, only finds Bryn Phillips. Phillips sees a bit of space, gets out it out to, to Warner. Warner. He's looking really dangerous. Certainly has. Just forced that offload. It's gone backwards though, and they've regathered. Excellent play there, coming in from both sides. Scottish putting uh, pressure in that ruck area, gets the penalty. That's brilliant turnover by Sean Taylor there. Really Having good really work. good to see some attack in rugby. Yeah, it's brilliant. Look, every time Lewis has had the, the ball in his hands, look really dangerous again. Beats two off here. 
Jack Morris and then a fend on Sean Taylor. Strength to go through. Offload opportunity was probably there, just wasn't quite executed, but managed to retain the ball. Deep kick by Scottish, and it's going to roll over the line, I think. As Neville looks to clear the 22, 30 minutes remaining in this game. Scottish looking for the next try. Kerberg out to McNeish to Green. Kerberg with the trip. He's on his own, however, Scottish tidy up. Unfortunately, there, the referee deems the player has gone off his feet. Yeah, a bit frustrating, a bit scrappy there. You can sense the players are trying to force offloads. A little bit frustrated. But again, opportunity for Kirlin to set them all. Into the 22. So we have an opportunity, you know, here in this game to award a man of the match. Lewis Warner certainly has put his name on that list in the past definitely. 10 minutes. Yeah, he definitely has. Um, him and his counterpart, Michael Green, both been, both been contenders for that, I would say, so far. Been the impacts equally. I think you could probably uh, give a lot of credit to, to any and all of the Kowloon front row for their work today. As we have a turnover in that line out, Scottish with a ball out to Green. Bit of space here, two on one. Oh, and the referee has called him back for forward pass. The call came from the assistant referee. It's a big call by the AR there. Huge call, Scottish were certainly in. That's a big looping, looping pass again by, um, by Gregor McNeish. Lewis Warner flying out and it's a try either side. It's either an interception, here it is, here. Big pass off the left hand. Lewis either takes yeah. that as a try. Michael takes it. And that's deemed a forward pass. A really unfortunate. Number yes. oh, eight that's substitution. A, I think the AR's got that wrong, unfortunately. Uh, John, how long's left on the yellow? Hands have clearly moved backwards. Flat at best. Just under five. Yes, I'm not sure who was that one all the previous pass. <laughs> However, as you said, Rory, it could have been <laughs> a try now, either yeah. side, depending on whether it was intercepted or not. I think it should have been, actually. The play should have continued, and uh, I think that was a likely run-in for Jack Morris. Crouch. Nine minutes left. Fine. Scottish with a close opportunity there. Yeah, let's keep the gap, yeah? yeah well, I did warn us, yeah? yeah. Just keep the gap, come on. Crowd. A bit more controlled scrum. Phillips with the feed. Yeah, solid. Really good work by the front row. They just use it. Use it. Callan, keep it in. Referee asks Phillips to use it. Taken in there by Kinlock. Big Phillips hit by Josh Dyson. Best. Balls out. Balls, Balls out. out. Great call. Play. And that's offside. I'm not sure how the, the refs missed that. Two potential penalties there, and another that's got to be looking in the pocket here. Multiple offences back to back. 
Yes, inspirational stuff there by yep. Captain Josh Dowsing. And all that pressure on Kowloon forces Alexander Harris to infringe illegally. And he's been sent to the bin. Just what you need in a player in Josh Dowsing. Yeah, we need him stepping up now. Last 10 minutes, like I say, it's one try in it. All up for grabs. That was a great play by Josh. That last scrum, another great example of when we concentrate. We're not being dominant, however, we're not being illegal and we're not collapsing the scrum. If we get pushed back, that's fine, but just force them to play from the back of it and, and play from there. Yes, yeah, so certainly being a much better second half for Scottish. Yeah, much. As once again, bit of width on the play, but Morris quite runs lateral. it back in. Kobeck out, Green with the ball. They certainly find the wingers. Just can't hold on to it. Quick line out here. Slowed down by the referee. A good width by Scottish there. Went from side to side. Um, just need a, a little bit more impact, something just to straighten up. Jack Morris forced to come off the side and, and run kind of lateral back across the pitch. Lost forward by. Yes, momentum in the second half certainly has gone to Hong Kong Scottish so far. They've got seven minutes left against a 14 man Kowloon team. As we have another scrum. Scottish will be looking for the same type of effort they had in the previous scrum, if not better. Phillips with the feed. Pressure coming in from Coburg. Another better scrum there. Kinlock with the safe carry. Another high kick. Great chase, great take there from the Scottish player. Brilliant by Sean Taylor. Really, really good. He's been outstanding at that all day. Let's see if this can spark something. McNeish sees a bit of space. Green calls for it, not sure if that was the right option. Would have liked to have seen them keep that ball in hand, however they have kicked. And unfortunately, Higson Smith taken in the air there by Michael Green. Yeah, bang on right, I would love to see that ball just been kept in the hands for a couple more phases, making some good yardage. And then you an un unnecessary challenge here in the air, just relieving the pressure and giving the kick back to uh, back to Kowloon. Agree, Rory. That was an easy let off for the Kowloon team. Scottish not making it easy for them. Chang with the throw to Markham. As the ball has gone down here, Phillips with no other option but to scoot himself. Yeah, good run there by Bryn. Good pressure coming here from the Hong Kong Scottish forwards. Once again, another frustrating penalty caught against them. This offside rule certainly being very frustrated for the Hong Kong Scottish team this day. That's Hong Kong Scottish 19th penalty of the game. Um, said at the beginning again, really difficult to get into a game and to, to even contemplate winning a game when you're into double digits, never mind when you're up close to 20.
Yeah, really good line speed, just a bit eager coming off that line. The right idea. Yeah, right idea, good execution in terms of the hit, but yeah, it's just that discipline on the line, isn't it? Kowloon with the line out throw here. Three minutes left in this game. Time certainly running out for the Hong Kong Scottish team. However, you never know. Once again, Chang out to Markham. Good peel here from Richard Langshear. Yeah, good breakaway. A couple of meters from the line. Phillips to Markham. Konku with the pick. Switching side here, however, well covered by Hong Kong Scottish. The last gas attempts are on the line. Doing all they can to defend their try line. Really good hit there by Josh Dowson and Kyle Sullivan. Brilliant intensity to get off the line and make a dominant attack out. They have driven the Kowloon team back a couple of meters. However, Kowloon still in with possession of the ball. Oh, good pressure coming in there from Scottish forces. Kowloon to make an error. That's a brilliant defensive d display by Scotland there. Uh, by Scottish, sorry. Every hit for the last three, dominant off the line. Ian Monaghan be really happy with that. Pleasing. Not much time left, though. We need to do something here to make our way up the, front, up the field. Yes, a couple of minutes left in this game. As we have the last of the substitutes coming on. But as you said, Rory, they need to scrum first here, then get it out. Yeah, we need to get the ball out from the scrum, set some sort of platform, and start building our way back up the pitch. Not long to do it, but it's possible. But first things first, we need to get the ball out of the scrum. Just over a minute to play. Koberg with the feed. Much better scrum. Ah, frustrating play there by the Hong Kong Scottish back line, just putting pressure on themselves. That's a real forward killer as the referee blows an end to this game. Frustrating play there by Hong Kong Scottish. Yeah, it was. You know what we, it was probably the best scrum that we've had all day as well. And uh, unfortunately, the error came just out the back of it. Trying to sh get the ball out to Gregor to try and create something. Force the error. Good line pressure by, um, by Lewis Warner in the middle again there just to, to create the error. And, and then the final whistle, unfortunately. Yes, that's right. As we see the scores here, DAC Kowloon RFC with a 17-10 win over Bloomberg Hong Kong Scottish in the Saxo Markets Men's Premiership. We are fortunate enough this year to have sponsorship from Kerry Hotel for a Man of the Match award. Rory, what are your thoughts here for the Kerry Hotel Man of the Match? A couple of options from both teams, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. Um, I thought Mike Green would have mentioned him, especially in the first half. I thought he was excellent. Um, from Kowloon, there was a number of players that I think played really well. Bryn Phillips, I think, controlled the game brilliantly. Some really good kicks um, to keep the pressure on Hong Kong Scottish. Um, Tom Konku in the first in the front row, I thought, was outstanding. Um, I would say at least 10 penalties were down to, to his individual performance. Um, but man of the match for me, um, at 13 for Kowloon, Lewis Warner. Um, I thought he looked really dangerous every time he was involved today. Made a couple of 
big impacts, uh, both with ball in hand and without, um, and he's my man of the match. I agree, I reckon that's a great option there. The Kerry Hotel man of the match, number 13, Lewis Warner of Kowloon. Of course, as well as the man of the match this season, we also have the Rugby 852 reboot, reboot show, which is shown on Facebook and YouTube halfway through the week with the replay on Saturday before the Game of the Week live stream. As you see, the players clap each other off here. The next team's getting their warm-up underway. Borelli Walsh, USRC Tigers against Society General Valley. Kowloon have come away with the win here, however, Hong Kong Scottish worry, I reckon. What they're do you think will happen this week? There are plenty of positives to take out of that, um, if I'm honest. I thought some of the defence was really good, and the line speed, the willingness to put the body on the line and make that contact was really good. Discipline again let us down, um, both from the offside line and then obviously from the, the scrum as well. Um, so that's definitely things that we can take and work on. Um, the boys will learn through it. Again, positives wise, thought it looked dangerous in attack. Thought Mike Green, especially, like we mentioned. Um, Sean Taylor, I thought, had a great game from fullback. Looked really solid under the high ball and, and made some telling inroads as well. So, plenty of positives. And uh, yeah, we'll build and, and get on to next week. Yeah, it's great. And it would be great to see you back on the pitch. Hopefully, one or two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> we also have an opportunity this season to have a couple of post match interviews with some key players. as we wait for them to come into the box. Thank you, Rory, for your help today. Thanks so much, Samantha. And I'm joined here today by the DAC Kowloon hooker, Jamie Chang. Jamie, great start here for the Kowloon team, coming away with their first win of the season. Yeah, it was good. We, th we felt last week we were a bit disappointing and, sh you know, we wanted to come away with a win last week. We felt we come short, so it was nice to get the season back on track today. Yeah, excellent start to the season. It was really good to see uh, your set piece, especially your scrum, being so dominant, not giving Hong Kong Scottish any opportunity there. Yeah, we probably identified they struggled a little bit in that area last week, so it was a real focus for us coming into today, and we knew that if we could apply pressure, then there's a high chance of us coming away with a good result. Yeah. And Lewis Warner was awarded our man of the match. He's a key player for you guys this season? Yeah, he is. Uh, you know, Lewis is quality, and he's come over a couple of injuries, and it's good to see him getting back to, you know, close to his best again. And it, when he plays well, the whole team plays well, so it's great for him to see. A couple of other reliable backs out there. I thought Bryn Phillips had a great game. I thought Jack Neville also had a fantastic game. You know, Kellen's certainly looking very strong in the forward pack and the back line. Uh, a lot to look forward to this season. Yeah, I think so. If, if we can keep all our lads fit, which has been our problem the last couple of years, if we can keep lads fit and lads playing well, then, you know, we like to think we can push anyone. So that's the goal, get lads on the, on the field and see how we go from there. And have you guys got any other exciting players uh, waiting to come out of quarantine or looking to play in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I think we got we got two lads in quarantine at the moment. A guy, um, guy from two guys from the UK. So I think they finished quarantine this week and they'll be available for next week. So hopefully they'll be training Thursday night and they can add. They come from a pretty decent backgrounds in the UK. So yeah, they'll be good additions. Great, certainly adding to your team. Well, uh, best of luck for the rest of the season, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks Cheers. So
Josh, you guys were very much into this game. However, it was quite frustrating, particularly around that set piece area. Yeah, the boys got better as the game wore on, I thought. We, Brad definitely stepped up in the second half, so full credit to him. But yeah, it is frustrating, but we we got to be better than that. We can't put ourselves that close to beating a team and then just to come away like that, I guess. Yeah, full credit to our team. Like We, fuck, we stuck in there, but yeah, it's just not good enough at the end of the day. No, uh, I thought you guys played much better in the second half. I thought your set piece was stronger. Uh, you did put a lot of pressure on. I was very impressed with how Michael Green played. Will he be a key player for you guys this season? Yeah, Michael Green, or Pickle, as most people know him. He's a very key player in our team. He's a big man, team man, and yeah, he's very dangerous when you get the ball in his hand. So it's about us, as far as giving him a set piece that he can work off so he can get the ball in his hands as much as possible. 100%. Very much so. And I also thought Joshy played very well. I thought he had a great... Uh, set a play there down on the 22, quite inspirational as a captain. So it'll be good to see how you guys go this season. Um, who have you guys got next week? Yeah, uh, we got the Valley next week, so things don't get any easier. We've got a notorious strong set-piece team. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be back to the drawing board this week, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Hopefully get Big Faisal Solomona back. So fingers crossed for that. But, no, nah, we'll, we'll keep working and we'll, we'll get better as the competition wears on. Yes, Faisal certainly will add a bit of bolster in that front row. Best of luck to you guys. Yeah, Thanks, Josh. Thanks. Thank you.